For this problem, we have sine squared x and cosine squared x, right? And one note I want to make is sine squared x is the same as saying sine x squared. This is something that tricks up a lot of people, but it means the same thing. Okay, moving on. Um, there's actually a trig identity for both of these. So the trig identity for sine, x, sine squared x is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. And the trig identity for cosine squared x is 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. Now, uh, what we can do is pull out the uh, 1 half from this equation and 1 half from this. And so if we pull out two 1 halves, it'll be 1 half times 1 half, making 1 fourth. Now, since we have all of that, what I can do here is pull out a negative, right? If I pull out a negative, it'll become negative 1 here, and then a positive cosine 2x right here. And these two are exactly the same, right? Because if I multiply, it'll just become 1. If I multiply negative 1 times here, it'll become negative cosine 2x. Now, since I have this, if I multiply these two, I'll get cosine 2x squared minus 1. And this is the proof of that, right? So um, if I have cosine 2x plus 1, and then cosine 2x minus 1. Um, if I multiply it, it will become cosine 2x squared, cosine uh, negative cosine 2x, um, cosine 2x, uh, positive cosine 2x, and then negative 1. Notice how this is negative and this is positive, so these two cancel. So it'll just, you'll just be left with cosine 2x squared minus 1. And remember that the negative is on the outside of all of this, so the negative sign remains. Then what you can do is multiply the negative um, throughout the equation. So then it would become negative cosine 2x squared, and then negative times negative would just be positive 1. And you can use another trig identity to convert this entire expression into sine 2x. That expression is 1 minus cosine x squared uh, is equal to sine x squared. Uh, just because we have a 2x doesn't mean that changes anything. So we use the expression of 1 minus cosine x squared, to get sine x squared. And so since the inside is different, we just change the inside. Now we use another trig identity, right, to convert this one. So we have sine, so the original trig identity is sine x squared, one minus cosine 2x divided by two. In this case, since we have a two x in the middle, I'll just substitute in the two, and now it becomes one minus cosine two, and since our x is actually two x, it would become like this, and so it'd actually be 1 minus cosine 4x divided by 2. Okay, so now we have that, 1 minus cosine 4x divided by 2. Now, now what we can do is use substitution, right? Or, first of all, we can pull out the 2, right? We can pull out the 2, so it'd become 1 half, and all that would become 1 eighth. But now, um, at the end, right, right here, 1 minus cosine 4x. For the cosine 4x, what we can do is use substitution. So for 4x, it can be u equals 4x. And then the derivative of both sides would be du and then 4dx, right? And then we would divide by 4 on each side to get du divided by 4 is equal to dx. So your, your expression will be negative 1 fourth cosine u, right? Because we substituted in u. And then du, right? Um, and then we have to have negative 1 fourth and du to represent the dx, right? So to represent the dx. I'll write that in here too, just so you don't forget, dx. Okay, so then uh, the integral of cosine u is sine u, right? Is the derivative of sine is cosine. And then we leave the negative 1 fourth, and we can't leave it as u. We have to plug in our substitution, which is 4x. So we plug that back in. So it's negative 1 fourth sine 4x. So we just plug this entire expression right here. And remember, we still have the 1 right here, so the integral of 1 is x. And then we leave the 1 8th, and then you can just add a plus c. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.